Good morning. Uh, today um, I'm going to uh, have a go at making a bit I made just before Christmas. Um, very quick what I did and um, there was one thing what did happen is that um, I didn't ferment it out well enough and there was uh, a chemical at least an apple flavour in there which obviously indicates that it wasn't fermented completely. Um, Today I'm going to uh, revisit that, re that recipe um, for two reasons. One, I want to do it properly, and two, is that I didn't really get to have a good taste of it. Uh, and three, um, after the Christmas and New Year period, I just want to have some sort of keeping beer for, uh, well, not keeping beer, more of a kind of session beer I can just pull out of the fridge and have a quick pint when I feel like it. In the New Year, uh, you know, dry January this year, but actually it might be might might even be dry because obviously this is going to spend about four weeks um, fermenting out. Let me go through uh, what I've done so far and uh, where we are. Okay, so today um, I was going to brew outside if it's going to be dry after in the afternoon, but it's uh, looking a bit, a bit moist out there, so I'm going to do it inside. Um, I'm currently... Um, Bringing my water up to 64 centigrade. Um, it's recirculating a bit there. We should get a top on really, shouldn't I? Let's do that now. To excuse my messy kitchen, it will be clean soon. Um, I've got uh, Camden tablets, which I'm going to be sticking in in a second. Uh, I may stick about a quarter in there. Let's see if I can find some. Oh, I'll get some out there in a second. Um, I've got two grams of magnesium or Epsom salts, two grams of magnesium Epsom salts and two grams of gypsum in there to uh, get my water right for the bitter and I've got 4.9 millilitres of uh, phosphoric acid which is uh, going to go in the water in a second. Anyway, grade wise I've, uh, I'm using a slightly different mixture this time. Um, Got Munich, got Marisotta, and I've got some uh, Crystal Malt, which is Crystal 60. Um, I haven't got any special W, which I chucked in last time. Um, see my recipe video for that, which is obviously I'm going to put send you across to that now. Okay, so um, I'm going to quickly go over my recipe uh, for this bitter. Um, Last the last brew I did, I had 150 grams of special W in there. Um, but what I've done, I've decided to do is to actually cut it back. To, obviously, because I haven't got any special W, so I've taken the special W out and I've actually substituted with some uh, crystal malt just to give a bit more sweetness to back up the, the, the Munich malt, obviously, to give a bit more color, but it's still not giving the color to come up to the actual uh, style. Um, that's not an issue. Um, what adding adding a bit of sweetness is going to have the effect of actually um, it'll fight against the bitterness of the um, of the hops. Um, so I may actually find that the, the bitterness levels will uh, go down a little bit, and obviously the, by by the sweetness going up. Um, I don't think it's such a big problem. I think it'll just obviously add a bit more uh, complexity to the brew. Um, what I have done uh, since uh, my last brew, I've actually lowered my brew house efficiency. Um, let me show you a bit more here. Um, what you can do on, on an existing recipe, you can actually just obviously adjust it um, here. Uh, so you can actually change the, your brew house efficiency here. Um, I've looked back over a few of my brew brews and they all seem to be coming around. Uh, I have, I've had this set at 72 up to now and they've all, they're all basically saying around 68 or 69. So I need to be a bit re realistic about my system and actually just uh, edge that back a bit. So when I do start doing my brews, I don't, like last time I got something like 3.8% and I was looking for something like 4.4%. Um, other factors that will affect the um, the estimated ABV, ABV or the uh, original gravity is how uh, how fermentable the um, the 
beer is. Let's have a quick look. And this is de generally, I've obviously down to the malts and all that, but also it, it's down to the um, how how uh, how cool you actually mash it at. Now I'm going to bring this down by by a percentage down to 64. Um, this is going to give me a slightly drier beer, but by adding uh, that crystal malt there, it will, where is it there? I've added that crystal malt as opposed to the special W. So I add that crystal malt there, it, this is going to raise the sweetness a bit, but the beer is going to be slightly drier. Um, so I think adjusting those two factors, it's going to hopefully um, even each other out and I'm going to get more or less the same beer. That's the theory anyway. Um, and uh, just that there, I'm getting sort of like 4.6% uh, an estimated ABV. Um, I think that will come in more like 4.2%, but um, we'll soon see once uh, it's fermented out. One thing I do find with my uh, Cephal 04 is it never really gets down to, I mean, one to blow four, it never really gets that down to that much. I, I'd estimate it get down to something like 10, 12, being realistically, being realistic, realistic about it. Um, I'd never seen Sapphire L04 get down that far, but uh, I, I could be proven wrong. Um, so uh, if I take a look at my design here, um, one thing I do do with the Baumeister is to, I, I dev never adjust the uh, final, the starting um, volume of water. I always stick in something like 23 litres, or maybe 25 litres, something like that, and mash it. And then I just top up t top up the water via, via pouring the water through the grains. And, um, and yeah, to get the right amount of water. Um, I take a note of the uh, total grains I've got there, it's 3.95, kilograms and if I go to let's have a look I've actually got a, a spreadsheet here which I use to work out um, 3.95 so I just put 3.95 in there which it just oh, which it just estimates up to four kilos of grain um, I want I always start 23 litres and I want to have something like um, 19 litres in there. So I need to add uh, maybe about 140 millilitres to the sparge water. Let's have a look. So, so one, six, three, four. so there we are. Got a little finger here that just works out how much extra I need to add. Uh, so I need to add about six. Once I've uh, done all my mash and all that, it just calculates how much water's been absorbed by the um, by the grains, and um, tells me I need to stick to six point four liters in there to, in order to get a final uh, final volume of nineteen liters into my into the keg. Which is the ideal amount because corny cakes take about 90 litres. Um, I'm going to put boil for 60 minutes still. I'm going to keep my boil off about right and the shrink, 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 shrinkage is about the same there. So there we are. Um, so uh, I remember that. So now that's it. Um, let's carry on with the brew day. Okay, so I'm at the right temperature to mash in now. We'll just, it's just tell me I am there. It's asking me to fill the malt in. And uh, we'll fill the malt in now.
Okay, so I'm gonna. I'm just finishing off now. I've uh, obviously dowed in. I've got the. Uh, I just put the screens on top. I'm gonna let it stand for about ten minutes. It's always. Uh, it just allows the uh, grains to absorb the water properly, and then I'll begin the mash. Okay, so the grains have been standing for just over about six or seven minutes. I'm just going to start the mash now. And it's going to do a 60 minute mash at 64. What's that? A good colour? doing here I'm just covering where the hole from, from the pipe was just to stop it from that the water from channeling down to, down that and then I'll just uh, slowly pour the sparge water in. It doesn't actually need to be sparge but I could just pour it straight in but this way it's best to do it, just to get the best, most efficient, all the efficiency you can, all the, all the sugars out of the grains you can. You can. Um, so I'm just checking out my uh, pre-boiled uh, pre measurements. Um, I got to taking a factory meter re re reading in about 10.5 bricks, which equates to uh, 1.041, not 10, 10.41 gravity. Um, my session here on, on um, going smith. I think I, I had something like 5.6 for the ma final mash pH. That's what I measured anyway. Um, plug in the pre mash gravity there and also here. Um, and I've got a pre mash. mash uh, measured pre boil volume of 26.25 litres. Um, saying here that my mash efficiency was 86.9 and I was looking for something like 79.9 so today my mash is um, uh, much more efficient which is good um, so uh, I'll carry on to the next bit Okay, so I've got my uh, hops ready. Um, I'm doing uh, 22 grams of um, Pilgrim, that's bittering. I've got um, 20 grams of Cascades, that's the last 10 minutes, and this is also, that's 20, that's 30 grams of Cascade for the Whirlpool. And uh, these are both English, English Cascades anyway. So, got a nice red colour to it as well today. Um, I'm just about to come to the boil, I'm just stirring in the, uh, the proteins. Um, okay, so the system's asking for hops. So we'll oblige and stick the first set of hops in there. Uh, I'm going to um, stick quickly up the the ball a bit so it comes up to the ball a bit more. Looks like it seized off a little bit. And we'll uh, now progress with a 
60 minute ball. So, uh, it says add hops, so we're going to stick the next lot of hops in, which is going to be these here. I've actually stuck a uh, Proloflock tablet in there already. So, uh, there we go. A few flew out and landed on the floor. Oh. There we are. Right. It's okay to that. So the same brewing's completed. Um, and I'll just stop it now. And we'll just turn on the water. Excuse for the wind. We'll get the temperature down below um, 80. That's good. Let's just turn the water off. Now I'll, um, I'll stick the, uh, the last hop dish in. And this is going to be for a, um, what is it? This is a 20 minute drop pour edition. Okay, so I'll come back to you in a second while I'm cooling down. So I've hit uh, well down below 20, I think. Uh, it's warmer on the top in it than it is at the bottom out here actually, so um, it'll actually even itself out. So it took me down there, and what I've got, I've got here is the yeast that I, I created a few hours ago. You can see it's starting to ferment a little bit. It smells fine. I'll uh, quickly pitch that now into the, into the beer, into this as it's going. Hopefully it's not... What I might do actually is to quickly check the temperature before I start doing that. Just to be sure it's not going to be too much of a shock for the yeast. Yeah, so it's about 18 degrees and I think the yeast is actually at uh, around 18 to 20 degrees. It's about 1 or 2 degrees, it's not too bad. So uh, let's gently tip that in. I think um, a lot of the trub has actually uh, stuck to the bottom, which was left over before. There's a bit of trub in the bottom there, which we don't need anyway, we just want the yeast. And uh, we'll let, let it go its merry way. Coming back to my final, uh, final gravity, well, original gravity, um, I've got a, a refractor meeting up meeting of 11.25 that gives me a corrected gravity of 10, 10.44. Going back to my session, um, my original gravity should have been 10.43, so, uh, I'm, so I'm slightly up on that one there. Um, I think that the um, I can't actually tell what my uh, measured batch size is yet, is it yet because I've got my chiller in, in the wood, so that's displacing a lot of the stuff. I, I'm going to assume it's about maybe about uh, 21, 22. Let's try 21. That should be fine. That gives us two liters above what uh, we actually need. So brew house efficiency is looking at something like 69.5. Five at the moment. Um, well, the original is seventy. So we're going to get quite a high brew house efficiency. Um, what you've got to remember with the Brandmeister is that it actually leaves two liters in the bottom, so um, there is a little bit of um, a bit of wastage there. But a good percentage of that is actually um, uh, wort and uh, hop debris. So that's looking good. So an end of another brew day. Um, been a good day. Hit my numbers up. Uh, numbers again, which is quite good. Um, it's. Um, I think hopefully, if this ferments down now, I should get a good, um, good ABV, which I'm looking for. In respect to flavour, well, I may 
it'll be, we'll, we'll see really. I don't think it's going to be exactly the same as it never is anyway, but um, it'll be good. Okay, well, I'll sign off. Bye.